Hello everyone, my name is Agustin Caruso and welcome to OStation. In this episode, I'm gonna teach you how you can create a, a, an SVG element that changes color when you hover it. So this is very useful when we're dealing with logos and icons. So this is how the final result is gonna be like. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, in order for us to do this interaction, it would be common sense to just use an SVG element and put it on a hover uh, state, right? But this is this is not possible currently in Webflow because, as you can see, this is a, a proper SVG that I uploaded here through the, the asset management uh, window. But uh, when I try to put a hover interaction, right? Let, let's try and ch change its color nothing actually happens right it's not supposed to happen and one way i used to change some logos and icon uh, i used to change the entire element but now i found out a way that's easier and you don't have to do it so what you actually need to use is an embed element which right now it's only available uh, for those who pay for a webflow pro account right it's not available on free for but for those of us that can we're, what we're gonna do right now is gonna add an embed element all right so once we open the embed code editor it's gonna ask us to input a code here but we don't have a code yet right so why don't we go back to the computer and then you click on your SVG file that you downloaded or then you created in a program such as Figma or sketch then you're gonna go to uh, open it with notepad or any note editing software and in here, you're gonna be able to see the source code. So what you're gonna do right now is, is copy the SVG open opening brackets and the SVG closing brackets and everything that's in between. You're gonna copy it back to the website, you're gonna paste it. And then once you save and close, you can see here that now we have an HTML embed, which is different from the SVG that was pure. But this one here can be editable. And how we're gonna do that? We're gonna access it here and you're gonna press Ctrl F or the equivalent on Mac and you're going to search for fill. Here it says fill none so this is not gonna actually affect it but the next ones like this one here it has an hex code which represents uh, one color because right now, right now we're using three colors right so this one represents only one if you have a, a, a complex shape it's gonna have a lot of them but if you have a simple logo you're just gonna need to change this once and here what you're gonna do is you're gonna need to erase it and input this word current current color all right once I save and close nothing seemed to, to, to change but what actually happened is was this station was actually orange but now it's actually representing this color right here from the typography so you can see that if I click here I'm gonna be able to change its color right but we don't want to do that what we actually want to do that what we actually want to do is to change its color when we hover over it so we're gonna come over here uh, on the states when I click on hover and such as any order element we're gonna be able to change its color back to normal and then here you're gonna be able to see that it changes on a hover now you can do that for these three colors as I mentioned the, uh, the only thing you're gonna need to do is to search for fill on the other spots and such as the other one change it to current color save and close same thing see easy peasy Alright, so that's it for today's tutorial, remember to subscribe to my channel in order to get notified whenever I launch new content, and as I am just starting my channel, any engagement helps me a lot, so make sure to post a comment or like this video so I can keep bringing you more tutorials and helpful guides, so that's it guys, and I see you in the next video, bye bye.